Hi there, I'm Alex at Southern Ukulele Store and following the success of our baritone, tenor and concert ukulele comparison videos, I thought today uh, Phil and I would take you through the soprano ukuleles. So we start right at the very beginning with uh, one of the cheaper instruments on our website which is the lacquer the US 10 down there on the stand and we'll work our way through all the way up to the Anui Nui US 200 which is 999. Um, you might notice the soprano wall is pretty empty this morning. Uh, yeah, most of those ukuleles have found their way into the pile so let's begin. Okay, the first ukulele on our list today is the Lacquer VUS 10. So this isn't the cheapest ukulele that we do here at SUS, but as far as an adult worthy beginner's ukulele, I think this is probably the best place to start. The price of this in 2018 in the UK is about 55 to 60 pounds. But for that, you do get something that looks and feels like a grown ups instrument. Uh, of note as well, this comes with a nice padded gig bag. Uh, which most other instruments at this price don't, they come with a slip-on cover and it also has uh, some very very nice open back tuners which feel like a kind of noticeable upgrade on some of the other instruments around that £50 price point like the Freshman's and the Brunswick. Uh, anyway, let's give it a play and see what you think. Okay, the second ukulele on our list today is the Brunswick BU4S. Now, the Brunswick, uh, like the lacquer before, has a laminate mahogany top, back and sides. The fingerboard and bridge have recently changed over to a synthetic material, which I think is basically like wood pieces put together and cooked until they become strong like wood. The machine heads are also very good on this. It's good open back tuners uh, with the white buttons instead of the black. and. This is slightly more expensive than the lacquer. It doesn't come with a gig bag, but you do get the nice cream binding all the way around, which uh, I think most people would agree makes it just a little bit more attractive. Anyway, let's give it a play and see what you think. Okay, the third ukulele on our list today is the Carla KAS, which I believe is the best-selling soprano ukulele in the world. The KAS, like the two ukuleles we've just looked at, is laminate mahogany on the top, back and sides. This one has a walnut fingerboard um, bridge, which is uh, probably uh, for CITES compliance to make it easy to ship around the world. Uh, this has the cream binding. It has side dots as well uh, and slightly better quality open back gear tuners. This is slightly more than the Brunswick, this is 72. Uh, but the thing that you can't hear but I can convey in the video is that this is about half the weight of the Brunswick. It's, uh, it feels much more natural in the hands. It, it feels just like the next step up in ukulele, but whether it sounds that way is uh, open to interpretation. Let's see. Okay, so we're moving up now to the kind of next level of what you might be looking for when you buy. This is the Ohana SK20. This is a solid mahogany top with laminate mahogany back and sides. The kind of build style on the Ohanas compared to the Carlas, they're slightly thinner, they're more traditional, um, based more on the kind of traditional Martin Soprano design. Uh, this has Grover tuners which when you consider this is £20 more than the KAS is, is pretty impressive because the tuners on this are about £20 uh, alone for a set. 
Uh, yeah, let's give it a play and see what you think. Okay, so moving up slightly again, this is the Snail UKS E220. The E stands for ebony because this has an ebony fingerboard and bridge, but the body is also laminate ebony with a really fancy rope binding, some close back tuners, and this ukulele comes in a nice padded gig bag or a pocket. So, yeah, let's see what you think. Okay, this next ukulele is the Ohana SK30M. Some of you may have noticed it looks longer than the rest of them. This is a long neck soprano. But my reason for featuring this is because the body is the same spec as the SK35, which is one of the most popular sopranos we do. Uh, so popular, in fact, that I don't have any in stock to feature in the video. Uh, this was also requested by somebody, and it's a very good request indeed. This is all solid mahogany uh, for about 130 pounds 2018 UK prices this has uh, the new Ohana oven coil fingerboard and bridge replacing the old rosewood design now let's see what you think Okay, the next ukulele on our list, something slightly different. This is the new VTAB Soprano. I have to double check the code. It's the TSS15. It's that new you see, sorry. Uh, this is different to the rest we've featured so far in that it has a pin bridge, which uh, supposedly improves sustain. Uh, I've noticed it on a few ukuleles, but I, I've not tried many Sopranos with a pin bridge before. This has a walnut fingerboard and bridge. Um, other features, this has a solid spruce top with laminate mahogany back and sides, a slotted headstock which I don't think I've ever seen on any soprano before, uh, a gloss finish and an abalone uh, sound hole rosette. Yeah, let's give it a play and see what you think. Okay, this next ukulele is a personal favourite of mine. This is a Kamoa E3S with the blonde finish. They do a red finish and a brown as well in this model. Um, Kamoa are a brand that often fly under the radar, I I've noticed. We've been doing them for years, but they, they aren't a brand that we get asked about as much as, say, something like a Carla, Snail or Ohana. But they make uh, some of the kind of best quirky and unique instruments uh, that we, we've ever featured, really. My favourite being the Grand Concert, which is like a tiny dreadnought guitar. But their sopranos are great. Uh, this is uh, for about £200. Uh, this is solid spruce top with solid maple back and sides, uh, mahogany neck. Kamoa have their own closed back tuners, which are very good quality. Um, yeah, and a rosewood fingerboard and bridge. So let's give it a play and see what you think. Okay, the next ukulele, this is made by Court, 
who manufacture everything. So quite likely if you've ever played an Epiphone guitar or a Squire acoustic guitar or some Ibanez acoustics or I mean the list the list really is endless. Uh, Court are behind the factory in China that make a lot of these instruments uh, or have been certainly for a long time. This is their very own uh, ukulele. They do soprano concert and tenors in the same finish. This is all solid uh, Tasmanian blackwood, so an Australian uh, strain of acacia. Uh, this has a rosewood fingerboard and bridge. It's also the first ukulele on this list that features friction tuners. Um, they don't appear to be a branded friction tuner, but they are they're very easy to use. Uh, so yeah, let's give it a play and see what you think. Okay, and the next ukulele is the biggest rival to the court ukulele I've just spoken about. This is the Sigma uh, SUM2S, which is their solid mahogany soprano ukulele. This has the um, kind of manufactured wood fingerboard and bridge. It's uh, also got the same, exactly the same friction tuners as the court we've just featured. Um, some lovely cream binding and a, a slightly smaller thinner design like a traditional Martin Soprano uh, that's actually where Sigma originate they were the kind of squire um, kind of introductory brand for Martin uh, throughout the 1970s and I think the 80s as well and they were recently revived by a German company and yeah everything that I've played by Sigma I've enjoyed so let's see what you think of this Okay, so something a bit different again now. This is a Flea M30 by the Magic Fluke Company. These can vary quite quite wildly in price. This particular model, the UK price in 2018 is at 299, but they start from about 230 depending on the features. So this one's a bit more because it has the hibiscus uh, laser cut sound hole and the side port. But these are uh, for the most part, this particular model as an example, these are laminate tops with a polycarbonate back and sides. They're, they're made in the US. Uh, this is the first thing uh, we've played today that is made outside of China. Uh, they have a maple neck and this particular model has a polycarbonate fingerboard, which, uh, which is great because supposedly the, they'll never wear out, but if they ever do, they're fairly easy to replace. The friction tuners as well on that kind of... Um, Kind of quirky headstock, but they are they're quite customizable. The fleas and flukes. So if you like how this one sounds, definitely do a bit of research on the whole brand. You might find one that's just exactly what you're after. Anyway, let's give it a play. Okay, this next ukulele was the most popular request when I polled our social media about what we should feature in this video. This is the Pono ASD, but there are plenty of ukuleles in the range that I, I would love to feature. Uh, the, the, the standard and deluxe ranges, uh, they do mahogany, acacia and mango. So the mahoganies, uh, the standard of each range, using mahogany as an example, would be uh, satin finish. Uh, with the ebony fingerboard and bridge and then the deluxe would have slightly more figured wood um, with a gloss finish so this is uh, the ASD so this is the acacia soprano deluxe this has the solid acacia top back and sides with the gloss finish 
Uh, the more recent deliveries of these we've had, I've had a satin finish on the neck, but that has varied in the past. So if you are looking at buying a Pono, uh, I would definitely inquire with your dealer, hopefully us, that the, the neck is how you want it because it seems to change from one delivery to the next, to be honest with you. Uh, this has uh, ebony fingerboard and bridge. And one nice thing about the ponos that you don't see with the other brands is that the ebony is quite often very figured. It's not just very black and um, slightly slightly boring looking. This is this is nice and quirky. And they have the friction tuners, which are the best friction tuners we featured so far. Very very tight, very easy to use, and don't require much maintenance. Anyway, let's go to play. Let's see what you think. Okay, so this next ukulele, this is an Eastman EU3S. Eastman have been gaining massive amounts of traction in the last few years because they build guitars that really replicate uh, kind of high-end Gibsons, um, the acoustic guitars that we tried here uh, when looking at doing the ukuleles were replicating the £3,000 Martins and they were a fraction of the price and there's, uh, there's good reason uh, to look at Eastman. I mean this is the only instrument that I'm going to feature today that is made using old-fashioned techniques so instead of a kind of modern polyester or UV finishes this is a nitrocellulose finish uh, the kind of woods hand stained everything is done traditional way um, there are some modern tools involved in the process but you definitely feel like you're getting a more bespoke instrument than say um, an Ohana which is kind of made in made in larger numbers um, yeah, I've been impressed with the Eastmans. I uh, hope you are too. Uh, once again, so this is solid mahogany top, back and sides. Um, some Grover machine heads with a um, insert word here, fingerboard and bridge. And this also comes in a hard case. Uh, most of you guys have featured so far don't come with a bag. Um, but yeah, these come with a really nice vintage style hard case. Let's see what you think. Okay, so this next ukulele looks a bit strange, doesn't it? This is a Romero XS Mahogany. So this is the Tiny Soprano, designed to fit into a smaller case, which it comes with, uh, for kind of more convenient travel. It's, a, it's like a different twist on the travel ukuleles that Carla make. So the whole instrument has been kind of squashed down and the bracing has been reversed to, to kind of give you the same soprano sound, but in a kind of more convenient and travel worthy package. So this is all solid mahogany and this is the Vietnamese made model. These are about 500 pounds. They, they make a tenor size as well, which is uh, just kind of kind of 100 pounds more for the tenor. They also make uh, Chinese uh, made versions of this instrument that are slightly cheaper with a spruce top. Uh, and they're very popular as well. So let's give this one a play and let's see what you think. Okay, this penultimate ukulele on our list today is a Koaloa KSM00. This is Koaloa's traditional Hawaiian koa, made in Hawaii, soprano ukulele. Uh, this particular model has the rosewood fingerboard and bridge, but this is something that Koaloa continue to experiment with and, and change from year to year, so it's not uncommon to see them with koa fingerboards and bridge. 
um, or Ebony Fingerboard and Bridge. And you can also uh, look at the OPO range of Koaloa ukuleles that are slightly cheaper. I haven't got a Ko an OPO Soprano to show you guys today, but the Koaloa Soprano more than makes up for it. So once again, Hawaiian Koa. Koaloa have their own branded friction pegs. And the thing to note is this is the lightest ukulele on our list. I mean, this is feather light. You can forget you're holding a Koaloa. There have been times in the past actually where they've arrived and they arrive in these cardboard boxes and when we open it, we open the cardboard boxes, I half expect not to see a ukulele. That is, that is not a joke. That is, it's happened once or twice where I've gone, oh, there's no uke in there. So yeah, let's give it a play anyway. Um, the only other thing worth explaining that I should definitely not miss about a Koaloa is the bracing inside. So what's inside is very clever and it's what makes it light. It has a kind of ribbed bracing and not your traditional kind of X bracing or the kind of traditional lining and reinforcement. It's, it's very lightly built and there's precision in there and the ukulele is very strong but there's just something special about how Kaolo has put together to make it sound so bright. Let's go to play. Final ukulele on the list today. This is the Anui Nui Moonbird US 200 Soprano. So, what makes this ukulele 20 times the price of this ukulele? Well, they're both made in China, but that doesn't need to be a dirty word anymore, to be honest with you. The Anui Nui's have consistently been up there with every brand that we featured. This has a Swiss Moon Spruce. At the top, uh, ebony fingerboard and bridge, a gorgeous rosewood, it's like really chocolatey rosewood back and sides, and the other features as well that make them special. This has the Goto UPT planetary tuners, which to put things in perspective, these are about £65 a set, so a set of these will set you back more than a Lacquer VUS 10. Um, we love these ukuleles. The, the Tenor UT200 is the flagship model, but this Soprano more than holds its own. Let's see what you think. just featured most of the Sopranos in the shop. Uh, things that we haven't featured that are definitely worth checking out and we'll try and feature in the future. Kawaii ukuleles. The Kawaii KTS-4, KTS-5 and KTS-7 are excellent Japanese made Sopranos. I wish I'd have one in stock to show you. Um, Kamaka, the HF1, is it's like the original Soprano. It's like the most gorgeous color Soprano. And finally, if you can get your hands on a Martin S1, uh, that's a fantastic ukulele, kind of around the £500 mark. We'll definitely feature all of those in a future video. I'm going to go around the sizes again. But for now, which was your favourite? Was it the VUS 10? Was it the Inui Nui Moonbird? Was it the Kamoa? Just let us know. Get in touch. Give us an email at shop at southernukuleleestore.co.uk or give us a call on 01202 430820 and I'll be doing this again soon. Thank you.